Welcome to Rocco Boxer Videos. Today I'll show you how to retrieve flight data from your Mavic Pro, convert it into a format that you can actually use, and then a free website where you can view that data and learn about the telemetry and your battery usage and so forth from your flight. It even has a superimposed Google map of where you flew over. We can get through the whole tutorial in about five minutes. Okay, so now the next step is to get our telemetry data off the device. Uh, the device I'll use is the um, iPad. That's what I use to fly with. Um, I, I, you can do the same thing with the Android, and you can find videos out there on how to do that. Um, but for this case, we're just going to focus on the, on the iPad. So connect your, your iPad to your computer. You open iTunes. Go to this little icon right over here. And then you go to file sharing. And those apps that allow file sharing will be, will be shown here. We have the DJI Go app that we use. And you click that, and you go to flight records. And then you save it. Now, there's no, you can't see any of the files in there. But all your flight records will be contained in there. And we're going to show you how to, how to render those as another step after this. So um, let's save it. We'll save it to our project, which is the gauge tutorial, and that's where it is. So I'm going to select the folder, and those are now saved. Ah, they're saving here. And so when that's complete, then this step is complete. Okay, now that we've exported our flight data, um, this is the folder here. Remember, we went to gauge tutorial. That's where we put it. And if you go in the in the file called flight records, you can see all your flight records. It keeps them all. Um, so you'll need to reference later on, you know, this is the flight that I took today on the on the 14th. And by the way, this little 175347, that's actually the time that I uh, that I took that flight. And um, that's when it when it saves it off. Uh, it was about six o'clock. That, uh, that it was saved. So it's about a seven minute flight and it was saved at six o'clock. That's what that information is. So that's the, the folder that it's in. But we'll, what we have to do is take that file. If we open it up, it's just gibberish. It's uh, encrypted. And so we can't read that with Dashware. So we have to actually convert that file to a CSV. So there's a, there's a website called Air Data that'll do that for us. It's free. Um, just basically go to airdata.com and I'm already logged in, so this is where I've been keeping keeping my flights, and um, and so I have one from yesterday. Excuse me. And now I'm going to upload a new flight, and so you'll select the file, and we're going to go to our folder that we put those flight records in, and go down to the new file, and open it up, and then we're going to say upload it. it takes a few seconds a lot of data in there um, so it takes some time okay so there it is so that's where I actually flew so it opens up to Google Maps and shows you um, where it is you can look at all the different information it's um, it shows you the iOS I'm using DJI 4.1 0.2. My landing battery was 78. My takeoff battery was 100. And it gives you all the information. I flew about 3,600 feet. The max distance was 1,785 feet. My max altitude and so forth. So what we need to do is render this information into something we can use. So we're going to download the CSV. And we're going to say save it. And that's been completed. And so now, we'll open it. I'm sorry, we won't do that. So now it's saved, and we go to our download file. And you'll see, here's that CSV just, just happened. So we're going to take that, and we are going to cut it. And we're going to put it in into our, our file. So now we've got the CSV, 
and these these files are the little segments that I'm doing as I record this. So um, there you go. Now we've got the telemetry data and we have our green screen template and now we can combine those in the Dashware uh, software and we should be good to go. That ends this section. I hope you liked the video I hope it's useful for you and uh, pretty simple to do. So uh, if you have any questions, send me a comment and I'll get back to you. And then I'd appreciate if you could like, subscribe, and share the video. And look forward to doing some more videos in the future. Thanks again. Bye-bye.